Hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Was in Izanaka, Part 7. So this is my second try on trying to make this video. Uh, wait. So yeah, this is Part 7. Um, so yeah, this is my second try. My first try was when I was gonna do it this, like, during, like, work. Because I had like a short pause period, I did not know how long it was going to be uh, for me to go back to work again. But, yeah, it didn't work out, so I uh, just deleted that. I did only, I only got to like a good 8 minutes with it, but I just deleted it. Because, you know, most of me is just me talking about, what. yeah, whatever. No one cares. Okay, so yeah, let's, let me, uh... Refresh if you didn't watch the um, last episode, but yeah, what happened is what Naruto Okay, let me just okay, Yeah, so okay Naruto became in a one-man team squad and Suzuki, Narui and uh, Sasuke are all in team seven. They all went into the tuning exams uh, Naruto had to go save Suzuki and uh, Norway and, uh, what's it called, uh, Sasuke. Sasuke still gets a curse mark. Who doesn't get, I uh, don't really care. Suzuki was also about to get the curse mark, but until Naruto showed up and punched and destroyed Archimaru's arms like nothing it was. So yeah, Archimaru cannot attack the Leaf Village. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, that happens. And, uh, after that, they went to the Chunin Tower. Uh, not, I mean, Chunin Tower. The Tower. Yeah, Chunin Tower, yeah. Um, Suski went against uh, Tomari. Conqueror went against Norway, and they Norway and Suski won. Uh, Sasuke still won against that one guy. I don't really care. And Naruto went against Kiva, and Naruto destroyed Kiva like it was nothing. So yeah, one month time skip. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, yeah, so it's still one month. Uh, I'm just gonna time skip it. Really, I don't really care that much because Naruto does not have a godfather. And, um, yeah. Naruto has met her godfather. Uh, it's a pervert, uh, uh, legendary Jiraiya. Yeah, one of the Sonnies. But, yeah. But since Naruto isn't related to anyone, like, from a Hokage or anything, yeah. He's actually just been training with his puppies, his three little puppies. And, um, so when he, with his ash style from Fang, he can actually light up the, uh, ash style with more fire to increase the, like, heat. And, um, yeah, it becomes more and more powerful. And, um, with Elsa, he can use, uh, he can, what's it called? What's it called? Manipulate ice into being anything he wants. Like, seriously, anything he wants. Um, he managed to make an ice golem with it. You know how a uh, Hashirama managed to make a uh, wooden style golem? Well, for Naruto, he managed to make an ice golem. So, yeah, Naruto went and did an ice golem with Elsa ability, yeah. Of course, it isn't that big like Hashirama's one was. No, it won't be that big, okay? Unless he puts enough chakra to just become that big. Yes. <laughs> With Darkney, he can, um, of course, I did say that he can use, like, uh, darkness manipulation and healing. He found out that his healing is a little bit more stronger because of the QB. And also his darkness, um, darkness manipulation. He can actually make solar armies with it. He like made a solar, um, a solar, solder, so, an army guy. You want, fuck it. I can't even say solder for some reason. So, solder. Yeah, um, I must be retarded. No, I'm just kidding. But I probably am. Uh, so yeah, he made a, uh, Shadow Knight, not Shadow Knight, Darkness Knight, and uh, I'm actually just gonna take this from, like, solo leveling, but of course, without the whole leveling thing, yeah, not happening, 
Naruto can actually just like make. He can manipulate darkness, of course. So he made a darkness knight. Uh, well, for Naruto's ninja world thing, blah blah blah. It will be a samurai. He made a darkness samurai. And he can also do this. Since Sung. What's it called? Sing? No. Song Wang Jun. No. What's the name again? Ah, oh, fuck. I mean, solo leveling. <laughs> Me trying to trying to pronounce names and trying to remember them at the same time when I work with me. So yeah, um, solo leveling. You know how solo leveling can exchange his uh, position with another shadow soldier he had. Yeah. Uh, this is what Naruto can also do this at the same time, but instead of being a shadow, it'd be a darkness manipulation. So of course he can put some chakra on his hand. Well, onto the ground, and he will switch places with another darkness knight he created in the battlefield. So, it would be like the, um, it will sort of be like the yellow flash, but instead, you have these darkness samurais attacking you, and you have Naruto also just teleporting right, like, changing spots with one of the samurais and attacking you, which sounds very dangerous, yes. So yeah, that's what he can do. Um, his healing, he can heal himself and anyone else. Pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, um, that's happened. Uh, wait. So yeah, uh, that's what he can do. And that was his one month time skip. Oh. Okay, should I? Hmm. Ah. Uh, nah, I'll save that later. But, yeah, that's what was happening. And, um, that's what he can do. Oh, no, wait. Also, with the darkness manipulation, he can actually create a darkness, like, giant. You know how, uh, what's it called? Solo, level, uh, solo leveling from, um, what he can do when he defeated one of those giants and managed to, uh, use the darkness to, uh, Brought him back and all that. That's when Naruto can basically summon while just killing a giant. Yeah, he can basically make that. And but I also want to bring a Boro. No, is that, is that how his name was? The Ant one. The uh, what's it called? What's his name? Solo leveling that had uh, what's it called? The elite soldier. Uh, he was an ant. That was the most strongest out of it. Yeah, Naruto can do that. He can make a super shoulder. Which, the super shoulder is just going to be an ant or anything he wants to imagine. But this ant is just going to be the strongest. He can also talk and other things. He can do English language. I mean, not English language. He can do the um, Naruto language talks and all that. Because they're not English. They're not in America. But yeah. Um... Basically, this ants to just like be a elite knight to carry out the other samurais or the manipulation darkness. <laughs> so there's the Naruto creator, and that's what Naruto made. He legit has the ant all in time. He has him everywhere he goes. Yeah, basically, Naruto has him everywhere he goes. So basically, the ant isn't just gonna be walking around normally. Nah. He's in the darkness of Naruto. So, like, some shadow darkness, yeah. That's, that's where he's at. He can come out anytime. He can also come out in, uh, what's it called, another en enemy's shadow and, like, kill the guy. Yes. That's how overpower Naruto that is. But, of course, the darkness ant is, is an elite, yeah, of course. But he isn't strong as Naruto. I mean, he is kind of like strong, stronger than Kakashi and no way, no. You see here, the ant is as strong as Naruto is, but a little bit weaker. And since the puppy kind of boosts and Karama kind of boosts Naruto and all that, the ant is as strong. So basically, think of Casey and Naruto right now, much. Yeah, it's the full complete KTM one. 
and uh, the ants. That's how strong uh, the ant is. The elite ant is. I forgot what they call them in the solo leveling, so I'm not gonna make up a name. And, um. Yeah. The murder ant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know what the name is, but seriously. Uh, yeah, was, I would think of something. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh. I don't know what to call him, but. I'll call him whenever I have time. But yeah, he's a part of Naruto, okay? So yeah, Naruto is now just like this strong, and that was the one month time skip. And now we go to the Chuni exams, the full on battles. So of course, Naruto is going against Neji, Naruto is going against Gara. Yes. I am making this. Naruto is going against Gara. Susuke is going against Sasuke. Uh, what's it called? Shikamaru is going against Choji, I guess. Ino isn't going against anyone because she gave up. Cause Sasuke would have been her opponent, but she uh she got destroyed by a uh, Narui. So yeah, this is now Naruto. Just like he's that strong, he doesn't. Yeah, okay, so I did say that Naruto's going against Scar. Yeah, that's basically with the matches. And the other matches are just going the same. Whatever. No one really cares about those matches. But yeah, Naruto, he's waiting for his match. His match is at the very end. So Neji's going against Narui, and uh, that went completely different in, in Naruto's original canon. Nari went KCM and beat the crap out of Neji and uh, Nari managed to master KCM also and she was sending down the shit out of uh, Neji but instead of Nari just beating the crap out of Neji she kind of removed the uh, cage bird how? cause you know Karama yeah <laughs> yeah and then after that uh, Neji became friends with Nari and, um, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Next is... Who should I put next? Ah, yes. Susuke versus Sasuke. Uh, s no, wait. Uh, Shikamaru versus Choji instead. So, Shikamaru kind of just gives up, and Choji was like, I guess I won. So, they just noticed that Susuke uh, is there, but Sasuke isn't. Sasuke gets there and says, yeah, fight me, sis. And, uh, it goes completely, uh, just different. I mean, uh, Sasuke still has the whole curse mark, whatever. Yeah. And, um, so, yeah. Sasuke is going to attack Susuke, and Susuke is just like, she turn on her, uh, shotgun gun and dodges the attack. And then knees Sasuke, and then grabs him and throws him to the wall. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. And Sasuke was like, you stupid bitch. Chidori. Yeah, he uses Chidori against Susuke. Susuke uses the Monikyun in the Susano and blocks that shit like it was nothing. And then her dog was there. And so Susuke does a fireball. And of course, her fireballs are uh, gray. And uh, of course... Um, Sasuke had to dodge, but at the same time, he can't dodge because he was using the Chidori, and, uh, he can't just cancel that shit out. So, he gets hit by the fireball, but he rushes towards Susuke still, and he hits Susuke, but his arm just shatters because he's going against the Susano. And Susuke Susano is gonna be light orange. Like, light orange. Why light orange? Cause you know you see here, Itachi was like dark orange, reddish, something like that. Susuke's gonna be light orange, cause you know she admires Itachi a lot and Itachi, yeah, yeah, Ugh. light orange. And um, I'm not gonna. Go. Oh, let me let me go see if. This is probably the closest thing that Susuke can have. Probably. I don't know what to give her.
Yeah, this is like sort of her Susano, but it still won't show because it's only the rib cage. Now, nah, Susuki's uh, Susano is kind of yellow instead. I'm just gonna change it. So yeah, Susuki Susano is yellow, and um, when of course Sasuke hits it, his arm shatters because the Susano is super strong, and uh, Sasuke is getting angry. But Susuki knocks him out really easily. Like, bitch, get the fuck off more. Yeah, so yeah, Sasuke's knocked out, so Suki's the winner. And, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Suzuki kind of kisses Naruto good luck, because he's going against Gara, Gara of the Sand. And Gara's like, yes, Naruto. <laughs> so yeah, um, they start the battle, and, uh, the proctor says, go, and Naruto is just like, got it. Then he uses ice styles and uses multiple ice uh, attacks. And of course, Gaara is using the sand to block it. He's like, you ain't gonna defeat me like that. And of course, Naruto isn't really trying to defeat him, really. He's just trying to freeze Gaara. But, <clears throat> Gaara threw a sand at Naruto. Naruto did ice, uh, ice wall, and the sand couldn't get to Naruto. And then Naruto... Uh, he decides to melt the ice to water so the sand can melt, uh, can just like turn to uh, kind of not even sand, sort of. It just wet the sand and all that. So that sand would be useless. And so Gara started attacking. He's like, die! And Naruto's using ice attacks, but also when he shoots the ice, he decides to use a fire attack to melt the ice. So, when it hits Gaara's sand, it makes it useless. And Gaara's like, damn it. And so he put himself in there like, bah. And so Naruto wasn't really letting this guy have his fun and all that. And Tomari and Conqueror was like, damn it, the evasion's happening already. So yeah, uh, a bunch of feathers happen. Of course, the sand doesn't know that Ochimaru is not going to be there. So yeah. But the Kazakage is going to fight against uh, with Kav. Perusing. And so, the invasion happening in Naruto. He's uh, Elite Darkness. The ant came out of nowhere and says, Yes, my lord. Go and help Perusing. I will deal with this sand bastard. And so the ant just said, Yes. And flies away pretty freaking fast. And Naruto is just like, right to fight against, uh, what's it called? Gara. And Gara is like, he turns into the San Chicago. It's like, ah, but like a little in it's the incomplete version. And he's going against Naruto, and Naruto is using ice and ash against him, which is hitting him. I'm like, damn it! Naruto also uses a shield. No, he makes darkness out of a shield. No, no, no. no. Let me rephrase that again. He makes darkness into a shield. And this shield is kind of round. It's like Captain America. And Archer just throws it. And it hits Shikaku in the face. <laughs> well, I mean, Shikaku, Gara, yeah, in the face. And Gara kind of flows back. And Tamari and Conqueror are just like, damn it, we gotta go save uh, uh, Gara. When Naruto got the shield, he threw it at Conqueror and Tamari. And it hits both of them and knocks him out. Ding, ding. And Naruto's like, he gets the shield back, like, yeah, he's going against Gara. Gara throws sand at Naruto, and Naruto uses the shield to block. And then Naruto does an ice attack against, uh, what's it called? Like, a ice pillar. You know how, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> Todoroki uses his ice attacks, like, in the sports house above. It's like, it tried to attack Deku and all that. Yeah, he kind of, Naruto does that. Well, like a thief trying to freeze Gara, And Gaara's like, yeah, Die, you Naruto. And Naruto, easy. And Uzako. And Naruto just dodges. Uses the shield and punches him in the face. And Gara's getting angry and angry. And so he goes into the Shikaku. He's like, yeah. Yeah, he basically just let Shikaku be in there. And, uh. Naruto's like, damn, I had to use the toe. So she was trying to do summoning, but before anything happens, Naruto just says, Ice style, Ice Golem. 
a giant ice gun and came out of nowhere. And like, well, I mean, it came up and then it just turned into an ice gun and started fighting against Chicago. Chicago was like, die, air bullet. And uh, the ice gun, he made a shield out of the ice and blocked that shit. And Arch is like, he's on top of it. Elsa is also with, uh, with Naruto. Using a chakra on their feet so they won't fall. And uh, the ice gun is right now punching and fighting against Gara. Think of it like Hashirama with Wood Golem going against Maru and the Nine Tails. Just think about it like that. But instead, it's an ice golem going against Shikaku. And Naruto isn't strong as Hashirama, but Shikaku isn't strong as uh, the one, um, not the one though. He isn't strong enough like the Nine Tails. So yeah. It's like a mini version. And Karama is seeing this. And he's getting flashbacks. I mean the Yang Karama. He's like getting flashbacks. It's like, this feels familiar. Ah, I know what this happening. Yep. <laughs> now I'm just like, wait, what are you talking about? Uh, what's it called? Nine Tails? Karama? Karama's like, ah, oh, this feels so much familiar. It's like that one time I was controlled by Maru Uchiha. And uh, Hashirama was using a wood golem to fight me. It's just, it feels so familiar. And Suski, since she saw Naruto fighting against the Shikaku, she jumped on Naruto, on the Naruto uh, ice golem, and she was like, Naruto, how about this? Maybe I can help you with this. And of course, she has trained with the perfect Sukiyomi. And I'm going to say that she uses some of the chakra for the perfect Sukiyomi on the ice. Well, she gave it to like Naruto, and Naruto was on the ice golem controlling it, sort of. And the ice golem turned into the Sukiyomi. Um, not, not Sukiyomi, what am I talking about? No, no, no. The Susano. So yeah. Uh, the ice golem just turned into this yellow armor uh, Susano. Sort of. It just still has like some armor and some ice and all that. And it just like. Instead of punching the uh, Shikaku. It came out of nowhere with a sword. And just slashes at Shikaku. And um. Shikaku is like. Damn it. And of course, you did see the picture. If you didn't, the picture was, uh, what's it called? The Susano for, uh, uh, what's it called? Suki looks like. It's like a female Susano with, like, four arms. And of course, the Susano that was on the ice golem, it has the four arms. Well, it has, like, six arms instead because, yeah, the ice golem has his own. And it has six swords. Or, shall I say, daggers instead. So yeah, it's just slashing through the Chicago very easily in Chicago. I was like, damn it! <clears throat> and so, um, of course, there was also the sound engines and sand engines and all that. Um, the Kazukage is going against Haruzin and all that, using the sand. But, what's it called? The darkness sand gets there, the elite, and like pierces, like he like shoves his hand into the Kazukage. The Kazakage just tried to block with the sand, but he just shoved his hand straight into the sand, going through and getting the Kazakage's heart and crushing it. And so the Kazakage is dead. And he was shocked. He's like, holy shit, who the hell is ant is this? So yeah. So yeah, Naruto. Uh, so Naruto Suski uh, managed to defeat Shikaku, and Shikaku just falls down. And the sand just all poof away, and uh, God is like, damn it, how did I lose? And Naruto catches him with like the ice golem and just says, he lost because he didn't have friends and family. Even how I might not know your pain, someone might knows, and that is Narwi, since she was the Nine Tester Cherokee. I am not Nine Tester Cherokee. And uh, Carl's like, you're not? Ah, uh, okay. And so, uh, yeah, he kind of gives that talk to Juicy sort of to like Gara, and Gara just becomes normal now. 
And the sound engines were getting the feet in the hell out of easily by a Narwi since she was encasing really easily. Just be blessing them really easily. The sound engines were also getting defeated. And um Haruzen, he didn't die. Since he wasn't going against uh or tomorrow. But still, he was going against a Kazakai that actually just got killed by Naruto's darkness ant. So yeah. He went back to Naruto and then reported. Lord Lord of Darkness. Uh, yes, because that's what he calls Naruto. Lord of Darkness. We have I have just defeated the uh, Kazukage. I have crushed his heart. And Naruto said, Wait, what? He said it again? And he said, I crushed his heart. Ah. Ah. Sisuke was like, Wait, what? Naruto's like, Wait, what? And, uh, and Naruto was like, Ah. Okay. Why did he call me Lord of Darkness? Because that is your name, sir. Ah, okay. I gotta change it. <laughs> Whatever. I gotta still gotta defeat the war. Okay, uh, Darkness said, I need you to go to uh, protect the bunch of villagers and save them and also kill the uh, bad ninjas, the sand and sound ninjas. And that's what the Darkness said. Then he went around and killed so many uh, sound ninjas and sand ninjas. And just like, he was done. He was like, Sir, I have protected over 50,000 uh, leaf villagers. And um, I have killed over five, no, five thousand uh, sand inches with ten thousand uh, sand inches. Mmm. Nah, no, just kidding. But that wasn't that much. It was like five hundred sand uh, sound inches to like a thousand sound inches, uh, sand inches. No, six hundred sand inches. Yeah. So yeah, number two is just like ah, okay. And Arx is just, just, okay, good. So the whole Konha crush never actually happens. And, um, yeah, that never is going to happen. <clears throat> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, since that never happened, um. Sorry. <laughs> I just need water again. Sorry, anyway. So yeah, um, after all that, the Konoha crush never happened, so, yeah, so it's Naruto's a god. Haruzen went and tell Narui about how he's gonna retire and he needs Tsunade to be brought back. So yeah, uh, Narui, Naruto, Susuki, and Jiraiya are going to go get Tsunade. Um, yeah, actually it's just... Naruto and uh, Narui that are going to uh, get what's it called? <coughs> Sonata instead of Susuki. Susuki is just gonna be training village again because she didn't want to go, she just wanted to train. And Naruto says, Why do I have to go? And uh, Jarrah's like, Good question, I have no clue. Uh, what's it called? Her reason, but I don't know, I just put you there. He's like, He's like, so yeah, um, he's going, and um, he goes with, what the call, Jiraiya and all that. They go, the whole same thing with like Naruto and original canon with like Jiraiya and all that. Kind of happens until when Itachi and Kusami gets there. So when they get there, of course, Suzuki heard about this, and she managed to beat up Kusami really bad and uses Susano on him. And easily, easily crushing him with like the shadow, uh, what's it called? Not shadow flames, the gray flames. And of course, Itachi saw this and like, ah, my sister's strong. I am proud of her. Also, he's just, she's just beating the shit out of the, uh, beating the shit out of, uh, Fishman. Ah. And, um, Kasama says, why you bitch? And Suzuki did not like that word, so, uh, Suzuki uses a Susano and hits... Uh, Kasame, where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> so, Kasame is knocked the fuck out, and Itachi just cringes after that. He's like, uh, uh, uh. he kind of just like, he kind of kneels down for a little bit, like, uh, 
And Itachi was almost gonna get hit also. Because uh, Suzuki is right now pissed. And Itachi's like, ah. He like says, Wait, sis, don't kill me. And uh, Suzuki says, I'm not gonna kill you. She kind of pops her knuckles and uh, and pops her like neck. And Itachi's fear, just feeling fear. Cause Sami over here feels fear. He's like, I really get the, the fuck out of here, Itachi. Hell no, I'm not dealing with your sister. And uh, Itachi's like, okay, we gotta leave. Please don't kill me, Suzuki. Suzuki said, I wasn't gonna kill you. I was gonna fucking hit you where the sun does and stuff. And Itachi just comes to the game. He's like, please don't hit that. And Suzuki says, well, you won't need to a, need a produce any kids since you're a rogue ninja. And Itachi's like, ugh. But this still hurts. Don't do this to me, sis. And uh, Suzuki's like, I don't care, Itachi. And so Itachi and uh, Kisame managed to get out of uh, Suzuki's wrath. Because I swear to God, I think uh, Kisame and Itachi would have died after getting their asses beat. And also, Kisame can't produce any more kids. Ugh. <laughs> Um, I'm just like, uh, yeah. So that happens, and Suzuki went back to training instead of chasing after them. Uh, Sasuke didn't hear about this because he's in the freaking, uh, what's it called? In the house, because Suzuki beat the shit out of Sasuke, like, he'll snow tomorrow. So, yeah. So, yeah, that happened, and, um, so, uh, Kak not Kakashi, I mean, Kisami and, uh, Itachi gets to the room, and K Kisami just felt so weak, and he didn't want to be the one that knocked. Instead, he wanted to sit in the chair and say, okay, you got this, Itachi, right? And, uh, Itachi says, Kisami, get the fuck up. Because there's no time to just sit. Because I was like, I don't feel great. I don't think I can rep uh, reproduce kids anymore. K K Itachi, do you not see how much pain I'm in? And I, Itachi's like, God damn it, Kazami. Well, you should never uh, underestimate my sister. And uh, Kazami's like, what the fuck? I didn't actually know that she would have hit me that hard. And then fucking used this Asano to hit me with it. The fuck do you mean? Itachi's like, got them. Okay, whatever. So he knocks, and uh, Nari felt the uh, danger, so she kind of went KCM and speed through the door, breaking through the door and punching Itachi where the sun doesn't shine, and Itachi winces so fucking bad. He's like, oh! no way, no. He he just felt the pain, and like Itachi kind of just fell to the ground, knocked the fuck out. He's like, ugh. And Kasami just went so bad. Oh. He also passes the fuck out. And uh, Naruto was like, what the hell? And Naruto gets out of his room and then sees Itachi, the missing rank ninja that killed the whole clan of the uh, Ichiha. And uh, another missing rank ninja, the Akasis. And Naruto was like, what the fuck just happened? Sisuke did. Oh, not Sisuke. Uh, Naruto, did he just do this? Nari just says, well, I punched uh, Itachi where the sun doesn't shine, and I I guess the other guy just went his really hard and passed the fuck out. And Archer kind of just fell down. Also, oh, he kind of crouches down. Why did you punch him there? <laughs> and why are you telling me this? And Suzuki was like, well, you wanted to know what happened, so I'm telling you the details. And Archer said, not that far of details. <laughs> Itachi is right now just like... Knock the fuck out. And, um, uh, Jeremiah felt this, uh, like, massive chakra spike. And, uh, when he gets there, he just sees Itachi in the ground and Kasami in the ground. And he sees Naruto just, like, crouching down and holding, like, putting his hands where the, where his, uh, crush is at. And Naruto's just like, Naruto, you're fine. Naruto's like, I'm not fine. <laughs> And, uh, Jiraiya was like, what the fuck just happened? So he walks up and says, what the hell just happened to those two? 
And Art just explains everything. And Jorai kind of wins his arms. So he's like, oh god, that must have hurt. And, uh, of course, Naruto is still in KCM and all that. And Itachi, he managed to get up. Slowly but surely, he managed to get up. And, uh, Kisame is still just kind of hurt. And he just also managed to get up. And Itachi's like, fucking, ah. Oh. And Naruto's like, well, you should have never knocked at the door and, like, thought I was going to be easy. And Itachi's like, I wasn't expecting to lose kids. God damn it. Because I was like, he's sort of like laughing, but at the same time, he's like, he's winching really hard. He's like, ah. Why the fuck? Then my sister beat the crap out of Kasame where the sun doesn't shine. And then her friend just decides to hit me that hard also. And Naru is like, ah, I see that Suzuki beat the crap out of the fishman. So yeah, ah. Uh, Naru's just like, how do you fucking smile with that? Hell no. Naru's just like, ah, hell no, this is complete bullshit. So yeah, um. They all just like. Uh, so, uh, Suski was like, oh, well, I'm gonna go back inside. So she goes back inside, and the door's, like, there, and she decides to just lay on the bed. And read some book. And, uh, Itachi, Kasami, Jiraiya, and Naruto just says, so, uh, we will never talk about this. <laughs> uh, Itachi and Kasami, uh, Itachi and Kasami just says, uh, Lex, never talk about this, and also, uh, Naruto, do not tell my brother about this. And also my sister about this. Let's just never talk about this, Itachi, because I'm said. <laughs> and our Jorai and our Naruto are not it today. Just like, okay, we will now take our leave. <laughs> because now Itachi and <laughs> Kasami just body flickers away. And uh, I guess Naruto and <laughs> Jorai is like, well, that was an interesting. So yeah. After all that, they, uh, I'm going to do another time skip and... Uh, they find Tsunade, and Tsunade is going against Naruto, and Naruto easily beats her using some ice and also ash. So yeah, after that, they just take her to the uh, uh, Hokage, of course she becomes the new Hokage. Uh, the whole Orchimaru thing is not going to happen, because, uh, yeah, fuck no, I don't care. Um, so yeah, and uh... Nori couldn't help it but to tell uh, Asuki about like she kind of hits Itachi where the sun doesn't shine. And uh, Asuki just started dying. She's like, oh no. And, uh, and Nori was like laughing also. Like, <laughs> and Naruto was hearing this and he was just kind of wincing. He was like, oh, that kind of hurt. That hurts people. That hurts people's pride. He's just kind of sad. And, um,. Sasuke gets healed, uh, Rock Lee gets healed, and all that, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so this is where Sasuke goes rogue, and, uh, of course, Naruto and the other have to go get him. I'm gonna get water right now. No, that's not what happens in the water. Okay. Huh. Gotta see what time it is. So yeah, um, Naruto just like, they're, uh, okay, so the original team to go after Sasuke goes to, as planned as normal. Suski and Naruto are also going. So yeah, um, the whole Sound Ninja 4, they actually got right because Suski was there and she has a Susano and her puppy that's really strong and all that. And Naruto is there and she has the KCM. And a sort of control on ch a nature chakra. And Naruto is there with KCM and his three uh, mythical puppies. And with what's called Darkness Ant. Who actually went after uh, what's it called? Sasuke? To only keep a track on him. And then noticed this bone guy. And saw it was trouble. So uh, Darkness Ant just crushes the bone guy's heart. Pretty easily and done. So yeah. And now, Naruto sees, uh, what's it called, Sasuke, and Sasuke's with Orochimaru, and so they leave. Yeah, they managed to leave. 
the whole battle with Naruto and Sasuke won't happen because Naruto would have murdered the shit out of Sasuke. Yeah. So yeah, um, that happened, and so um, everyone's. Uh, well, you see here, Sasuke is dead, so uh, there's no point in her. Um, yeah. So everyone doesn't really want to bring Sasuke back. Instead, I just like kill him and just be done with. <coughs> you know, doesn't care. Half of Sasuke's fangirls doesn't care no more. Instead, they care about Naruto. And Naruto says, hell no, I'm already with the girl, so get the fuck away from me. So, yeah. So, there'd be a two time, uh, two years with Narui. Jiraiya is actually going to go train Narui in a two years. Suski's also going along with uh, Kakashi and Jiraiya and Suski. And um, Naruto is going to be in the. Uh, what's it called? He's going to be in the village training by himself. And um, with his three little puppies. Who's going to be the one to uh, be able to do healing juice and all that? Find out next episode because I'm ending it off here. <laughs> so yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night. It is 41 minutes long. Have a nice potato day. This is actually the longest I've done because, you know, right now it's 11.50 and I had to go to sleep like at 10.50 or something. But I said, fuck nah, I don't care about school half the time. So yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato sleep, and potato.